All right, welcome back. About a month, well, back in March, let's just put it that way, my husband and I went out west for vacation. We went to Oregon, and there was this really awesome uh, comic and card shop called Geek, Geek, Nerd, Nerd, and it's in Redmond, Oregon. Go check them out. They had a ton of cool stuff in there, and of course, I had to check out the Pokemon section. So, <clears throat> I was able to find, not this, this was from a different card shop, but uh, these mystery bags, which as you know, I am a sucker for mystery things. I love the, you know, chance of getting something super rare in here. So, um, there's a one in five. Okay, so it includes, let's see. Let's do it this way first. This mystery bag includes one uh, booster pack, one first edition card, one Japanese card, and an ultra rare card or rarer. Our pool rates are listed on the back here. So we have a one in five chance of getting a holiday pack, such as Celebrations, Shining Fates, Pokemon Go, um, or Crown Zenith. Um, one in 25 chance of getting a sun and moon or X and Y pack. One in five chance of getting a bonus promo card. One in 10 for a full art card. One in 25 for a vintage holo and one in 50 for a first edition holo. So I thought these were super cool. We're definitely gonna open these today, but I'm gonna also show you um, a clip of a video that we took. They had a Pokemon card vending machine and you spent, I don't know, it was 50 cents or something um, to get a Pokemon card out of this vending machine, which was super awesome. So check out that video now. So these are the cards that I got from the vending machine. I did get this Japanese card, foil card, um, have no clue what it says, but it's still really cool. And then here, I'll leave this out. I did also get a Giovanni's Machop. So this one is pretty old. This one is a vintage card. Uh, it's just an uncommon, but it was still really cool to pull this out of a vending machine. So, uh, very, very cool. Also, the centering on this is pretty nice. Like it's not, it's really not too bad in there. So who knows, maybe we'll get it graded and see what, what that comes out as. But so this is the, oh, and this. Because I have literally four cards left to complete the Pokemon Go set, um, I am resorting to getting singles, unless I can pull some really good things out of this tin. So I was able to find an Alolan Executor V, which for whatever reason has eluded me. So we did get this from that same card shop. I'm pretty sure it's all running together now, but I did visit a few different card shops there. So, um, all of these things were from Geek Geek Nerd Nerd in Redmond, Oregon. Um, I did get, which you saw at our pack a day videos, um, I did get uh, Lost Origin and Silver Tempest packs um, from a card, kind of just like a hobby kind of shop. Like there were, there were games and toys and plushies and everything like that in there as well um, called Dragon Vine. I'm not familiar with it, but there were two of them um, in Oregon. So the shop was called Dragon Vine. So that is where I got the single packs here. Um, and then there was another card shop that I came across called Sport Cards 101, I believe is what it was called. Um, just cards. So they um, they obviously had sports cards, um, but they also had like uh, Magic the Gathering. They had 
uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and then they had Pokemon as well. So I was able to find this Pokemon Go tin, which, I mean, I haven't been able to find these because I started collecting it after Pokemon Go it was really going. <laughs> um, so I was happy to find this and we'll open this. We'll see if we can get any of the other cards that I am looking for. Um, but yes, so we got a lot to, to look at today. Um, as far as the um, singles go, we saw them in the, uh, uh, oh, what's it called? The Pack-A-Day videos, couldn't remember. And so we saw all of these already, but I figured I would just kinda go through these quickly so you could see what we got. Um, Let's open the Pokemon Go thing first, because this is kind of the more exciting part of our video today. Okay, so we got the Pokemon Go tin open. Um, it is featuring this, it's featuring Pikachu on the front here. I wanna say this tin at that card shop was only like 20 bucks or something, which I thought was a really good deal too. So we have our holographic Pikachu, um, kind of a promo card because it is. this is just the common version of the two Pikachus that are in um, the Pokemon Go set. But then we actually do have the promo Pikachu carrying a little gift for you. So very cool. Set those guys over there. See what else we find. Ah, got some stickers. Nice, so we got Pikachu, Snorlax, and Blissey. Good stickers there. Here are your Pokemon Go codes. And go ahead, since it was open anyway, here's the Pokemon Go, uh, oh, oh. Okay, so this tin came with four packs of Pokemon Go cards, plus the tin is a good storage container. So let's open these packs first and see if we find any of the cards that I am looking for. I am still looking for the full art professor's research. I am still looking for the full art executor V. I'm still looking for the, uh, the Mewtwo, what did they call it? Not virtual reality but like the realistic, like it was, it was the augmented reality from the game. So I'm um, still looking for that Mewtwo. And I feel like there is one more card and I can't remember what it is. It might be the full art slacking V. Anyway, let's open these and see if we can find them. Okay, we got a reverse hollow Pikachu and a Melmetal V, which we already have, but it is still a good card. I keep getting Melmetal Vs, so I'm still trying to think what that fourth card is that I need. I have it listed on my phone, but my phone is currently recording, so I can't look that up right now. Whoa, that is very very badly cut. <laughs> All right, we got a reverse hollow Moltres and a Dragonite V. Again, I have Dragonite, a lot of them, because for whatever reason, I keep pulling Dragonite Vs. <laughs>
and another reverse hollow Moltres and a holographic Gyarados. Last pack. All right, Reverse Hollow Soul Rock and a Holographic Snorlax. So overall, not bad. We did pull two um, V cards. We got Dragonite V and Melmetal V out of these four packs. And then you got your promo cards up here as well. So again, not terrible, not terrible at all. Um, but because I have four cards left, to complete the set. We didn't get anything to help us complete the set. We might have gotten some reverse hollows because I like to collect both the regular version and the reverse hollow version. So we might have gotten some reverse hollows to add to the set, but I don't know off the top of my head. I'll have to check that later. So now that we got through the Pokemon Go stuff, let's get into these mystery bags. These bags were put together by um, Double K Collectibles. So I always think that's really cool. Let's see what we find. It's pretty tight fit in there. All right, so we got a promo. Oh wait, there's more cards in here, duh. Okay. I wonder if that little, oh, that little tab was probably to help pull it out. Okay, so we got a promo Shining Cramorant V from Sword and Shield. Ooh, we got a first edition Rocket Sleep Trainer card. That is pretty cool. And then... A Japanese, oh man. Oh, what is this? Sigalith? I'll look it up. I'm pretty sure it, it's Sigalith. It's a newer Pokemon, and so I don't remember <laughs> the names. But they, this is actually really neat. If you you can kind of see it in the in the video, how it has these like rainbow kind of swirls. For the reverse hollow, it's very cool and very, very shiny. So, okay, well, that's a pretty cool way to start off the first um, mystery bag here. Try and set this somewhere where we can see the, all the nice cards. And then we got a Sword and Shield Battle Styles pack. So I have opened a few of these, but this was before I started collecting. So I don't really know what's great in the Battle Styles um, expansion set. So we'll see what we find. Okay, we got a Reverse Hollow Tower of Darkness. And then a non-holographic Claydol. I don't know that I've ever seen Claydol pictured as being a, like in black. I always thought that he was like a dark brown. But maybe I am thinking of Ball Toy. So, oh well. Very cool. Not a bad first opening at all. So we'll put this first edition Rocket Team Rocket trainer on top because by far that's probably the coolest thing out of there. So it's just so nostalgic to see again. I know it's just a common card, but it's still very, very cool. All right, so let's open this second mystery bag. And we'll use this little pull tab.
and another battle styles. So let's see what we find in here. We have Lorantis EX or GX in here. Sorry, Lorantis GX. Not familiar with it. I'm going to have to look up what set this is from. Um, but it's some really cool artwork in there. And then we got Lieutenant Surge's Ratatata. Oh, Ratatata. Ratata. <laughs> and it is a first edition. So that is super cool to go along with our uh, Giovanni's Machop. They are both from the Jim collections but one is gym heroes and one is gym challenge i do not remember which is which i think this is gym heroes and this is gym challenge um but that is pretty awesome love that and then a japanese card i don't know what pokemon that is i will look it up later but it's still really cool nice holographic um, some pretty neat artwork in there, but I will have to use Google Translate to figure out what Pokemon this is. <laughs> so very, very cool. Okay. We'll set these guys up there. Let's open this battle styles pack. And then that will be it for this video. All right, we got a reverse hollow Morpico and a non-holographic Phalanx. So again, I'm not super familiar with battle styles, um, with what what is good and what isn't good. So they're still fun to open. I like seeing what you can get in there and seeing the different artworks as well. But these mystery bags are pretty cool. Really enjoyed those. Um, and yeah, so that was my haul from my vacation. Now that I have a hobby that I can check out different uh, smaller card and comic book shops, um, it's, it's pretty neat to see across the country, like just what each place has. So definitely check out, if you happen to be in Oregon, check out Sport Cards 101. Um, it is on Highway 101. Uh, check out Dragon Vine for any of your, you know, hobby-like needs. And then um, Geek, 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 Nerd, Nerd <laughs> is the last one that I went to. And that was very cool. Um, so much stuff in there. They had tons and tons of comic books. They had tons of uh, older um figurines and toys and videos just like anything you could think of it was it's probably in there so definitely check them out um if you happen to be in Oregon or you know around that area you're gonna visit there highly recommend those three card shops and um yeah thanks for watching and I will catch you in the next one